With our first game of this year's preseason, tonight at 3am UK time vs Club America, I thought this would be the perfect video to release in time so you guys can find out and pay attention to the top 5 players to watch who I feel can not only have a big preseason but also get involved in the squad for next season and add and strengthen to our team. So I hope you guys definitely enjoyed today's video. Please share your thoughts and opinions. Let's get 3k likes. Before we get into anything, I need to get one big plug out of the way first. Today's video is brought to you by friends of the channel in One Football. With our first game of preseason tonight against Club America, One Football is the perfect companion app to have in the market right now to be able to stay up to date with all the news happening around our club during preseason. Now, of course, later on when the stats and lineups do come up, it's a great hub to get access to team information. And on top of that, too, you guys, if we go to the profile section here, Click on the club. As we can see, we get all the latest up to date news for the day on One Football. We can see the squad that's gone on tour for pre season, as well as transfer deals that have been completed and players that have left the club. Plus, access to the club's official website through the app. One Football is the app for football fans. If you guys want to help yourselves and, of course, support the channel, you'll find a link below in the description. Download it, try out for yourselves without wasting any more time. Now the first player to watch out for in this year's preseason naturally is our new signing in Raheem Sterling. Why exactly is he on this list though? Well he's here so we can see what plans Thomas Tuchel has in store for him and whether we see any tactical tweaks made by our manager. Reports are that we could be seeing Sterling used up front as well as down the left hand side and the right hand side too. On top of this though, it is going to be interesting to see whether Sterling forms any connections or chemistry with any of his new teammates. I'm looking at players like Mason Mount, I'm looking at players like Ben Chilwell, and in particular, I'm looking at Kai Havertz. Right now, Raheem Sterling is fit and raring to go. He came here to be a leading player. He felt like at Man City, it was the right time for him to move on now to achieve his full potential as he reaches the prime years of his career. It is going to be very interesting though to see how it becomes useful for our team. Already, since signing, he is a massive positive influence. All the players are gassed and excited. They are gassing up his world-class ability as well too. The manager is very happy to have him as part of the team. And throughout pre-season, this will be a great opportunity for us fans to see Raheem Sterling's finishing as pre-season goes on. For me, this is the key area in which we're hoping as a fan base we see some improvements in this area because over the years, you guys, if our finishing was on par with some of the opportunities we create, then our seasons look completely different. For me though, personally, I'm hoping to see some Raheem Sterling and Kai Havertz link up. Now in theory, I have an idea where when we attack as a team, I'm expecting to see both Raheem Sterling and Kai Havertz move into like center forward positions with Mason Mount dropping deep in behind them. In that sense, Kai and Sterling would be wide forwards and I think using both players in this manner gets the best out of both of their games. I'm sure all of us are going to be very excited to see Sterling playing for us. Watch out for what he does in this year's preseason. Now the next player to watch out for is none other than Ethan Ampadu. There are so many players to choose from though. On this list, I was thinking about Havertz, Breuer, Pulisic, Andrew and plus many others. But for me, Ampadu is the key player to watch out for. For me, the challenge is to get as many minutes as possible for Ampadu in pre-season if he has any hopes of asserting himself in two core score plans for next season. Now, what makes Ampadu unique? For me, it's his ability to fulfill so many different positions in the team. We saw Tuchel turn towards Nathan Ake for these same qualities. And for me, why do you need Ake when you have someone younger than Ethan Ampadu who right now at 21 years old is prime and ready to show what he can do for the team. With Ampadu, he is able to play in a back three. Whether that's in the middle of a back three on the right hand side or left hand side, he can play in a back two, he can play as a DM, he can play further up as a ball winning midfield player as ball two. And for Venezia last season, we saw what the player could do playing as a wing back. He picked up an incredible assist against Inter Milan with an incredible cross from deep. And it just highlights the versatility and his all round game that Ampadu currently has. Now he's been away from the club for a long time, but he has grown as a human being as well as a player too. After accumulating minutes in Germany, in England and in Italy as well too, this has given the player so many unique experiences to add to his game. For me, now is the time though for him to be used. No more loans. If he gets one more loan, 
I'm expecting Ampadu to leave on a permanent, but for me, watching how he grew even more at Venezia last season, especially during that second half of the season, I think that Ampadu could be arch ever Jalaba for this year's preseason. He has a very good all-round game, he's very aggressive, he's very aggressive with his marking too, he's a brave player, not afraid to get involved, as well as being able to move the ball quickly with one touch, two touch play and play forwards. He could be the DM option that could blossom even more now that he has the luxury potentially to play alongside better players at 21 years old. The player has 33 international appearances. He's clocked up more than 100 club appearances too. And this is a player that's been playing pro football since he was 15 years old. For me, watch out for Ampadu this preseason. Let's hope he gets fair opportunities to show what he can do. The next player to watch out for in this year's preseason is none other than Callum hudson Adoy. For the final few months of last season, injuries came up again to ruin all that momentum. Now, since suffering that terrible ACL tear back in the 18-19 season, it still remained an injury which at times can flare up again and cause issues for the player. Now, what was the flare up in particular that caused him to miss the final few months of last season? As hudson Adoy said himself, it was a weird one. It was a neurological thing where I had tweaked a nerve in my back and it stemmed all the way down through my body so that it became very difficult for me to retain muscle. It left hudson Adoy with no real power in his legs and the player himself said that he was struggling to even pass the ball 10 yards. It does seem like he also suffered from post-coronavirus effects when there was an outbreak in the club during the winter periods. COVID affects the fitness of athletes even more as they have to be in top physical condition to compete in the Premier League week in week out. The issue started with his Achilles, the injury has forced him to adapt how he runs and how he uses other parts of his body to make up for his Achilles issues. He said he stopped running on his toes as much to help with his new way of having to cope. Now, hudson Adoy seems fit and raring to go and what can never ever be doubted is the player's professionalism and his dedication to become the very best player he can be. With all these injury setbacks, weaker personalities, they start to suffer with all these accumulation of injuries, their mentals will be down, and they start to get even worse with their professionalism. But hudson Adoy, for the second preseason in a row, has returned back even earlier, this time only taking a one week break throughout summer to come back to Cobham to train. Now he has reported back stronger. He has more upper body strength. His Achilles is stronger again as well too, as well as his back. Still at only 21 years old, he has plenty of time to regain back all that lost time due to injuries. Pay great attention to his new running technique and dribbling technique, as well as how often he backs into opponents to hold the ball up. He has to adapt away now from being that smaller nippy winger, but for me, I've always seen hudson Adoy as that Frank Ribery style of winger who has playmaking abilities to match those goal scoring outputs too. For our team, he still ranks incredibly high with his creative output, and you can see that in his technique. I mean, watch how the ball dips when he switches the ball. Look how accurate his crosses are with either foot. I mean, it's kind of like Usman Dembele esque in terms of just how incredible his crosses inside the box are, and just how comfortable and precise he is in the final thirds. For all these reasons, you can never give up on hudson Adoy and watch out what he does during this preseason. We move on, and the next player to watch is Levi Cole. Now, you'd imagine that all eyes from the fan base will be on Cole this season. The player and his camp want assurances that they can get fair opportunities for next season, but this does not mean they want guaranteed first team minutes. Cole himself will know better than all of us that at this club, you must fight for your position. Ultimately, all the players really want is a fair chance to be able to show what they can do. When you sign three centre-backs, when you already have Thiago Silva and Trevor Jalaba, it doesn't create the most ideal environment for you to be able to grow and show what you can do. Cobalt is going to use this preseason to show Thomas Tuchel why he must be taken seriously and to prove why he could be a leading centre-back for us over the next decades. In terms of profile and how he plays, this kid has absolutely everything that you want to see in an elite talent. Not just any talent, but elite talent. At six foot four, he has a body that's way mature for his age. After spending a season or long in the championship, he's now become even more hardened now after a very physical and mentally demanding championship season. But the most key thing is, in terms of the profile that is needed to play in a Thomas Tuchel defense, he has every single quality in abundance. 
He possesses that composure under pressure. Composure that, again, belies his very young years. He played on the left-hand side of a back three for Huddersfield, but there were differences. His main job at Huddersfield was to cover the left wing back in behind. Under Tuchel, he wants his wide centre-backs to get forwards, to push into midfield. And if you have doubts whether Colwell can do this, then my friends, do not worry at all. He is so comfortable and adept at breaking into midfield and carrying that ball forwards. Last season in the championship, he recorded 12.19 defensive actions per 90, winning 88% of his duels. For a teenager to do that against hardened, experienced players in the championship, this is proof of his elite potential. At 19 years old to be this physically dominant already, this is something that he can develop even more. And over the next few seasons, you could easily see him transform into a Van Dyke-esque physique in years to come. Cole's confidence when it comes to winning duels and challenges makes a lot of sense. He is so comfortable winning balls in the air and in the ground. For aerial duels and for aerial duels contested, he has about 62% and 67% on an average rating for both. Right now, his season at Huddersfield was proof of his world-class potential. He acclimatized very easily to the rigors of professional football. And for me, it makes all the sense in the world now to integrate this guy into the team as quickly as possible because he could save us tens of millions in the future. And for me, when you're looking at players like Aki and Kimpembe, why sign players like this when you have a player at your hands right now that can reach a much higher level than the players we're looking to sign? Cole is a player to watch out for in this year's preseason. And for the final player to watch out for in this year's preseason, of course, that has to be Conor Gallagher. Now, he's a player looking to come back and assert himself now. His mission is simple come back and believe he can improve this team. He's got all the reason to believe in himself after a standout season on loan for Crystal Palace. Connor recently told a story about meeting Tuchel randomly in a restaurant when he was out with his family and girlfriend. As Connor himself said, I was trying to hide. It was funny because I saw him through the window and whispered to my girlfriend, mum and dad, God, this is Thomas Tuchel. He walked in, sat on the table right next to us so he couldn't miss me. Now, Connor did reveal that Tuchel apologised for not letting the player play against us in last year's FA Cup semi-final. And as their conversation continued on, Gallagher responded back by saying, I think I'm ready to play for Chelsea. I said, you know, that's what I want to do. I've got some older brothers that have told me that if you've got something you want to say or ask, then just ask because managers aren't scary. They want to talk to their players and they want to know what your thoughts are. I told him what I thought and he said what he thought and I think that was the best way to do it. Now with Connor, he's been at this club since he was eight years old and he bleeds blue. He is now ready now to challenge for a first team spot and definitely has the ability to match his self-belief. Tuchel has challenged a player to shine this preseason. Tuchel was already impressed by what Connor did last preseason, but now it will be very interesting to see how Connor is used because he is a player that can play in a multitude of positions. He can play in a pivot with two in midfield. He can play as a cam and push further up. But his best position is as a boxer box midfield player, which combines his great defensive work off the ball alongside his offensive threat inside the opposition box. It's going to be very interesting to see how Tuchel harnesses that positional flexibility that Conor Gallagher has. But with a spot to win in the national team for this year's upcoming World Cup, Gallagher is definitely putting all his hopes on becoming a star player for us at this club. And for me, he has the ability to match his self-belief, determination, drive, to become a massive success here. And on that note, that is the end for today's video. Share your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. Do you agree with this top five list for players to watch out for? And if you don't, stay and name the players you're paying attention to in this year's preseason. On that note, I'm Nini FC, this is Blue Lions TV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos. Cool.